to Mexico. La bamba, la bamba, la bamba. My first ever game console. Give me a freestyle. You wanna see? Oh yeah. She used to say, let me see, give me see. I didn't know what I ordered, but they said it was a little bit more spicier. I didn't think it would be. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Ah, I got ice. But yeah, you hungry. You don't even know. Oh, they like it that dark meat. <laughs> 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 This is a very good place to come and you want to enjoy a good time. I, I just found it by mistake. Oh, this one wanted to kiss me. Yeah, I see. Yeah. The shadow is a uh, mock shadow. It looks like Superman house right here. Let's do it. Wow. <laughs> That's right guys, we're finally in Veracruz, Mexico. Join me as I hit the beach to learn more about the culture that is Veracruz, why the locals like to come here while drinking tequila, playing with some ice cream, and swimming with the fishes. Let's go. Welcome to Mexico, Veracruz, guys. A lot of you guys have suggested I've come here, and I'm here. I actually have been here for a couple of days, but I am getting ready to leave. This is my last day here, and I thought I filmed the beach area, just in case you wanted to come here, what to expect. I know you guys probably heard of an aquarium, and so we're just gonna do a little filming, and hopefully I can give you a little piece of uh, Veracruz for you, all right? Veracruz has a lot of different elements to it. It's a lot of different parts, and I didn't get to see all. So just in case you're like, oh, I missed it, just comment down below what I missed. So whoever watching this video, maybe they can read some of the comments and learn more about Veracruz. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little more laps in this water and then we're heading to the beach area, all right? I don't know what's gonna happen at the beach area, but let's see, all right? Let's go. If you're wondering what hotel I'm staying at, this is the Four Point Hotel in the coast of the Oro area in um, Veracruz. It's a very beautiful hotel, um, very economical as well. You can find prices from around $27, $40, all the way to $100. I've been here for a couple of days, and so I did opt in for one of the $100 rooms. It's just a spacious room, so I'm gonna show you that room. Now, there are other hotels you can get um, that are better around the same price so just in case just look around and see what you're comfortable with getting i actually like this area though the reason why is because everything's close by pretty much i like the fact that i was walking distance to the walmart right here there's a nike store there um kfc mcdonald's further up that way you can't probably see it now so it was a lot of walking I, i've been doing here there's a fedex place right here you won't believe what happened here <laughs> why I need to go there. So I'm gonna show you that too. All right guys, now it's time to show you my room. Here we go. Hey, this one I paid around 90 something dollars. After taxes, like around 100 bucks, like 101, 102 dollars. All right, now this is not your traditional room. You can get something a little bit smaller. I just opt in for the smaller space. But let me show you why I like the fact that we're so close to a FedEx. So let me show you right here. What up? You probably saw that in the thumbnail. Pretty much I went to that Walmart and there was a PlayStation there. It's been so hard to find one and I promised I would get one for my nephew. Years ago when I was a child, my uncle surprised me and sent me my first ever game console. It was a Super Nintendo and I remember it was one of the best days of my life. So I thought I would do something like that for my nephew. Granted, my sister spoils my nephews very well, but I wanted to do something similar like my uncle did and surprise them. And currently it's hard to find PlayStations. So I thought it was crazy that I found it in Mexico. All right, let me show you how I actually found it pretty much explain it to you every time I travel to a different Walmart out of the country I would just walk in and they say hey you have a PlayStation just jokingly but this time they actually had it so I was like yo oh, oh man my nephew is gonna be so excited to see this and so tomorrow I send it and actually tomorrow I'm leaving so I wanted to show you that and then also show you my view here pretty beautiful right here and then that right there over there is a nice area in terms of hotels dope hotels everywhere you see here is hotels and there's some casinos so there's a lot of stuff for you guys to do here just in case you see this place is a big mess <laughs> all this stuff here uh yeah it's a, it's a huge mess but uh oh yeah that's my chaos you never see a hotel room i have had that is actually clean except for the bed 
bed right here. And then I have a balcony right here. So you get that fresh seawater breeze that just comes in and hits you I'm right next to a radio station. It doesn't mess with any of my interference when it turns off Wi-Fi, stuff like that. But all of those buildings over there, all the way over there, those are hotels, okay? So pretty much for me, I am gonna get ready to head to the beach side, dry up a little bit, uh, link up with my homeboy you ain't seen in a while. And then, yeah, we're gonna go hit up the, the strip and see what's the energy like in the area when it comes to the beach life thing. All right, let's do it, yo. So I made it to the beach right here and as you can see it is full with a lot of people So let's walk down the strip and to see the energy and the vibe I just want to let you know today is Sunday Sunday is like family day This is the official day in Latin America where a lot of people will come out and enjoy time with their family Especially if they're on the beach. So as you can see, let's go walk around Come with me. We're also gonna check to see what else they're serving like as far as food wise um, stuff like that like they got all floats and everything here and it's it's a lot of people here i came here earlier today and it was just a lot of people just uh setting up hola como estas okay uh, yeah, uh, ¿qué tiene aquí? Lo mejor, Gloria. Gloria, dame un Gloria. ¿Qué es Gloria? Uh, parecen bien. Mm. Plátano, lechera, clavel, vainilla y canela. Okay, so this one is made with some plátano in it. Oh, es un, oh, banana. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna, he's gonna bust down the bananas. Banana, ice. Ice and fruit. And fruit? Okay, well, banana is fruit, okay. Okay, he squishes it up with a nice little bottle, okay. Oh. Okay. Alright guys, this is the way the Mexicans do it. Look, they got a nice block of ice. Oh. Do you like to see this? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Oh. I never seen this before, so he has like a shaver. Nunca verete. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna ice cream. Wow. All right. Oh, come on, tequila. Hey, man. Tequila, eh? Tú tienes tequila. Ya, ya vengo, ya vengo, ya vengo. Yo vengo, yo vengo. Okay. Vanilla. Oh, wow. Vanilla. Vanilla. Ah, uh yeah, -huh, vanilla. Okay, vanilla. vanilla. All right. Clavel, uh, carnation. Oh, carnation milk. Man, this looks very impressive, guys. So that's the carnation milk he just poured in there. Oh yeah. Mm. And then he was using some of that right there. Yeah, my nice, friend. Right. Hey guys. Right now, it smells super sweet. I can smell the sweetness coming from the thing. Mmm. Mmm. Hey. They ate from Mexico City. They say Mexico. Is it Mexico City? No, they Veracruz. No, Veracruz. This is. Okay. All right. All right. This one telling me is from Mexico City. The other one says from Veracruz. All right. Y'all make the. Y'all pick it out. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice guys. Uh, RIP my diet. <laughs> this is the stuff people don't understand what I gotta deal with eating food here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh cinnamon. Wow. He put in some cinnamon on this thing. Oh guys. And I ate something like this in um in Cali, Colombia, and it's called Chulao. But this is called come on say I'm at this. Gloria. Gloria? In Colombia, what's your name? In Colombia, se llama un cosa así, pero diferente, se llama chulao. Chulao. Sí, y este se llama... 
Gloria. Gloria a Dios. Algo así. <laughs> ok, ok. ¿Cómo yo comer este? How I eat this? Um, ok. Con la cuchara. Ok, ok. All right, guys. It's time. El tiempo. Ok, you want me to... Mm. 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 Immediately, you taste the banana that he squished down. The juice from the banana. Mm. It's so, it's so delicious. Es la especialidad del puerto de Veracruz, La Gloria. She said this is the specialty of Veracruz, La Gloria. This is real good, guys. It tastes really good. It tastes like a banana. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, good. Really good. I'm gonna try that and we'll be back. These guys got tequila for me. Un momento, déjame comer este yo vengo. We gonna get some tequila real quick, hold on. Welcome to Mexico. Welcome to Mexico, Mexico. Mexico. yeah. <laughs> well, guess what guys, this guy came out in a movie in Mexico. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it, okay. <laughs> let me, let me ver, que tipo de tequila es este? Oh, oh, no sé, no sé. Jalisco. Jalisco tequila. Tequila reposado. Okay, Re reposado tequila. Madeim tequila, Mexico. Okay, vamos a probarlo. Okay. Uno, 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 poquito. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amigos, All right, guys. Ooh, no, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I got ice on it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So man, that was our first interaction here at Vela Cruz. Uh, I have, uh, my mouth is full of uh, ice cream and, and fruits and uh, tequila already. There he is, guys. If you haven't seen this guy, they kept asking about you, man. They say, well, where the hell you went? I'm here. This you been here all this time? What are you drinking, dude? Oh, long story, man. They made me something uh, here. Check this out, guys. They're selling floats here. Look at this guy right here. He he's selling chicken here. Guess at that. Oh, un pollo. Wow, guys. They they is trapping out here, and he got a he got a nice little setup over there too. Let's let's go check out what else we have here. So how you like it so far, uh, Veracruz? Straight, straight. It's, it's, it's normally chill. Uh huh. But um. Yeah, it's a it's a good place to come and chill. Sunday is gonna be like this, but early in the day when we was here, this beach wasn't nowhere near as packed as this. Family day, enjoying the water, enjoying the daytime. You know why I like this place? The whole decor, and then it leads all the way to one spot, the aquarium. So I want to see what the aquarium looks like, and we'll just uh, head up further that way and see what the food look like. What the? Look at that! They got a, like a trampoline. <laughs> Oh man, all right, let's all hit this corner up. All right. All right. All right. I'm surprised we don't have the guys singing the songs. I'm so used to seeing um, the guys with the guitars singing the songs. All right, wow. Well, look, at, look at that. We got the cat guys. Let me get over here. Oh, they're selling everything. People come in out here, they get lit. Drinks! Yeah, look at that. Wow. It's family day, man. It's family day. Sundays are special, okay? Uh, I can imagine some of these guys went to church, did the church thing, and after the church thing, they're heading, uh, they came here to enjoy the weekend. If you wonder what time it is now, it is 5 15 in the afternoon. And people are still out here and enjoying their time. Music people of the beach. Que musica y tu vas a hacer hoy? Norteña, Norteña, de, de Monterrey, de Monterrey. Ese es Vera, pero ese es Veracruz. Yo quiero música Veracruz. La Bamba, La Bamba. La Bamba, es sí. de Veracruz. Es Veracruzana. Una poca de gracia, una poca de gracia. 
buscar allá la sello otra cosita y arriba y arriba y arriba y arriba y arriba y arriba yo no soy marinero arriba y arriba y arriba y arriba y arriba yo no soy marinero yo no soy marinero por ti seré por ti seré por ti seré Dang, man, shout out to those guys, man. <laughs> and so that's a song that's actually from here. Okay, well, let me give these guys some money. Gracias. Oh, thank, thank you, mister. Ah, no me diga nada. No, 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 no me digas. El no quiso. Gracias, papá. Gracias, papá. Okay, these guys, I hooked them up, all right. They have it. Gracias, papá. And we gave them something good, all right. Now, let's uh, show you what else is available here, guys. Actually, all these places are different restaurants you can eat. I wanna go to the other end and show you that part. Let's do it. These are all your different restaurants. ¿Qué tipo de comida tiene? All type of seafood they have, but they also have chicken if you want chicken, if you're not into the seafood. There's so many different small towns close by that come here just to celebrate the weekend. So as you can see, these are these uh, other entrances you can get into to walking in right here. Como esta? Ya tú sabes, aquí lo mismo. Muy español. ¿Qué tiene allá? Piña colada, coco frío. Oh, oh, piña colada, coco frío. ¿Puede verlo? Sí, pásale, pásale. Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and look at how one of these places look up here. This is a really interesting bar. Oh, I love this. This is perfect for those who don't want to be on the beach, but want to get the fresh air. Fresh air is blowing in. Uh, more um, tequila, una tequila shot. Okay, hello. All right, guys, check it out right here, look. Beautiful perspectives of this place from the up top. This would be my spot, to be honest with you. I'd rather not be there, I could be here. Still enjoy the beautiful air coming in, and just the juice, drink, and everything else available. This is a very good place to come and you want to enjoy a good time. I, I just found it by mistake. And it seems like it's one of the only ones that have an upstairs uh, terrace. Cruz, what's the best thing I need to do here in Veracruz? Entonces, aquí es el mejor. Es el mejor bar aquí. Okay, mira, mira, mira. Uno, dos, tres. ¿Cómo se dicen? ¿Cómo se dicen? ¿Cómo hacerlo? No sé cómo hacerlo. Salud. One, two. What is the mejor disco there? Yeah. Icon? Arconic? Iconic? Quincena. 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 ¿Dónde está Quincena? Yeah. Eh, para allá? ¿Es muy bueno? Hoy? So this bar is called La Terraza and it's a cool vibe. Aquí, okay. So they saying guys, the best music here is El Salsa, okay? What's up? Wait, 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 wait. La gente aquí sabe bailar salsa. ¿Ah? Sí, 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 sí. They say the Mexican, hey, the people here know how to do some salsa, okay? Yo salsa, okay? Cali, salsa. You wanna see? Oh yeah. She says, hey, let me see, let me see. Constitución entre Independencia y Avenida Ignacio Zaragoza. Ah, es la, la, 
es la, la... Esta es la dirección. Barricas es la, es la, el lugar. Ok. ¿Es seguro? Uh, ¿No es peligroso? Bueno, bueno. Ok. ¿A, a qué hora yo, yo, ves, eh, yo tengo que ir? Desde las 6 de la tarde hasta las 2 de la mañana. Ok. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we're back on the strip. I think that's super dope. We met some... Um, people to uh show us around but all in all my experience here dealing with the locals has been nothing but friendly no, but it does not hurt to speak a little spanish okay <laughs> all right so when you walk down this strip guys you're actually gonna run into a sea aquarium they have here but what i've been hearing from the ladies i just met they basically said something about the sea aquarium it's fun but it's more family or oriented so you probably bring your little children and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the entrance and maybe I go in or maybe I don't, but well, I'll show you. All right guys, so once you pass this restaurant called The Vips, right around the corner here is the entry into the Sequarium. You walk in here guys and this is the pretty much all your combos you can get pretty much. I think the most expensive one is two museums. You get to see the water works, uh, the fishes, 3D movie you get to see. Like another tunnel you walk through and then a laboratory. If you wanted to see just the aquarium, you can go and get one of these packages right here, 250 pesos, which is $12 I want to say. And then boom, you can go. And if you're with some children, that's the price for the children right there. All right guys, we are at the aquarium. Come on, sit. Oh, okay, we get a uh, we need photos, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tacos! If you just come in and see this. Look at him, guys. It's huge. The closest I've ever been to some sharks. Oh my god, guys. Look how big this thing is. It's huge. I guess this basically talks about how thick <laughs> the glass is. This right here, this is a huge block of acrylic, man. I want to say it's 12 inches, all right? 13 inches by 12 inches right here. Or maybe a 15? Here you go, guys. This is the, the length of the, the block of acrylic. This thing is serious business, man. I used to do stuff like this. It looks like Superman house right here. Let's do it. Bam! This is the hugest eel I have ever seen, man. It is like a snake, but it's a fish. Y'all trying to get some meat? Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, you hungry, you don't even know. Oh, they like that dark meat. No. <laughs> I 
this place was that big. Even though I flew a drone for over here. What's your thoughts? It's bigger than a dog, but it's, uh, we'll see. We'll see how big it is, actually. I think this might be the end. And we just got the aquarium. We didn't get the extra stuff. There's a lot of other stuff you can do here, guys. We just went for the aquarium. And whoa, got manatees up in here. <laughs> they used to say mermaids in the water. These guys are so harmless, man. You can find these in Florida. Yeah, they like to eat all the vegetation from the Everglades swamp area. Yeah, so I think if you are coming to Bella Cruz, this is most definitely a place to show up to. It is most definitely going to entertain you as far as seeing the sharks. That was really dope for me. And um, just seeing all these different species of animals. Guys, check it out, man. Penguin Happy Feet is in the building. Oh, okay. <laughs> We walk into the food court right here. Here we go. And it's kind of late, so it's not as busy. After watching all that fish, you might be hungry for some fish, so it's here and you can enjoy your time. It's time to heat, it's the next day, and so I wanted to show you a cool place called Pollo Lajero right here. You can find a few spots here in Veracruz. Okay, this one is actually next to the hotel, that's the Walmart I showed you earlier in the video. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm in the mood for some baked chicken. They got baked chicken over there. Over there, you can see the lights. Just gonna enjoy. Es un restaurante típico de México o de Veracruz? Típico así que digas típico no es, pero si es algo famoso, aquí en Veracruz. Famoso en Veracruz. Okay, so yeah, they, she said, she confirmed this is a, a famous place in Veracruz, okay. After I finished eating this food, I'm gonna show you where I went yesterday night. It was a dope place. Our chicken came. I didn't know what I ordered, but they said it was a little bit more spicier. I didn't think it would be drenched, but I'm gonna muscle through it. And then I got a small salad, <laughs> apparently. Uh, get back to you. see your boy. All right. Chicken right here. Hmm. Sauce not that bad. This, it does have uh, some spice on it, but it's not that bad. I can see why people like this, though. So. It's like a a Mexican jerk type of sauce. No, 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 no. If they do delivery, I probably get another one. If you're wondering what's happening, I'm actually in front of this restaurant I went to last night and the food was so amazing. I can show you a little bit here. I didn't have my camera. So I was filming with my cell phone, but you can get to see how it looks right here. You get the idea. This is a happening place. Okay, it seems to be packed every day. All right, it's no shortage. And this is the name of the place right here. Let me step back so you can get a good look. Los Frey Rolidos. Okay, <laughs> it's a beautiful place to eat. If you are coming down here, it's a beautiful place to eat. Matter of fact, coming down here can be cool. You know, I would say if you are in a, you know, you just want a calm weekend, but you want to see the beach, you want to see this aquarium, you might want to bring your whole family out and catch a vibe. This might be the spot for you, man. I actually went in here, this Nike shop right here, and actually they had some good deals. They had 30 to 40% off there too, so I bought me some new kicks as well, man. So uh, I think I'm ready to leave. What about you? Hey, man. We were actually here filming other videos here that I can't wait to share with you. But I thought I'd make a video of the city and so I gave you a good idea how the city is. Beautiful city. I know there's parts that I missed out. Uh, I saw a water park recently today and I didn't realize it was a water park. But there's a water park here so if you have kids, bring the kids out. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do here guys. And I feel like here, 
you can do it for a cheap price. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like my video, you want to see more of Mexico or more of this random traveling, you like my personality, you want to see more Ace, check out some of my other videos. If you've been watching me long enough, hey man, check to see if you subscribe, man. Check to see if you subscribe. We're here in Mexico. I am still traveling here, but I am getting ready to go to some places you've never seen before, okay? Well, off of my camera. <laughs> All right, it's countries you probably can't even get into, maybe. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, before I leave, I got to remind you to always stay live. Yeah, four point, four point, not, not bad deal. Hotel, yeah. Might wanna say that, yo. This dude right here, man. He keeps swimming around. Let's see if I can grab him. Just in case he got any problems, I ain't got no pressure. And this guy's like, I'll be right here. I'm watching you every step you take, every move you make. <laughs> I don't you got to be close, but it needs to be like water. Hey, you gotta get closer. Move. You gotta get closer. And and your, sh your shadow, your shadow is uh, the box shadow. Yeah, there you go. Let me see if I go up like that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good right there because you can see some of the city too. Uh -huh. Whatever look you want, just keep it as I move around. I'm